tough night tonight, obviously um, poor result for us. You know, we obviously came into this game looking to get two points and wasn't to be, but you know, credit to Somerset, I think they played an excellent game. Uh, Azam, 100 and, and the way they fielded and bowled uh, at the beginning before the rain came um, was exceptional, so beaten by a better team tonight. Over 200, I mean, that's, a, that's quite a big score in, 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 any, mm. sort of, on, in any venue in this competition. Yeah, and you don't get 200 here that often, you know, big boundaries. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they played a good game, obviously. Um, and we're on the receiving end of that. Um, but it, it's 2020, and I think what you've got to do is it, when, you, when you lose again, you've got to, got to put it behind you and start again. Um, it makes Bristol against Gloucester an important game for us on Tuesday. You lost wickets again early. Was that because of the pressure of, of going after a big total? Yeah, I think that can happen. I think when you're chasing 200, you obviously got to take risk and go hard. There was a run out early, um, a couple of very good catches to be fair to, to the lads. But um, yeah, it's not ideal because you need a good start chasing 200. It wasn't a B and, and unfortunately we lost those early wickets again. It's the fourth time you've lost three wickets in the power play this season. Last year it was even worse, wasn't it? I mean, are you getting slightly concerned now at these early wickets? Uh, obviously, it's something that we, we've uh, spoken about as a group and um, it's something we're working on, but the partnership early on, which you feel if you look at the batting order, it's, it's a strong batting lineup. So it's, it's about doing the job now um, and getting those partnerships and we get those partnerships setting ourselves up for a, for a decent score. Was there another reason? I mean, maybe you're worried about rain and those early overs. Was that why they went uh, hard? No, it? not a, no. We we had 200, obviously a big score, so so we wanted to get off to a good start, um, and and we lost those wickets, which didn't help us. And unfortunately, we weren't uh, in a position to to set ourselves a platform to go for the for the run to the end. So you know, yeah, that's the way it was. I mean, are you thinking of maybe tinkering with the order? I mean, obviously you're pleased with the personnel, but maybe yeah. tinkering with that uh, order. Yeah, a little something bit? worth think about now. I think you, you let the dust settle after a loss, um, and you look ahead to the next game, which is Tuesday. So we'll sit down as a group and have a look at it uh, as a management group and see where we go on Tuesday. It's not quite must win every game from now on, but it's not far off now, is it? Uh, it is. I think it's it's quite close. I think the top two got ahead early on. Um, now it's quite quite close. I think it's bunched up. I think the results tonight. I think middle. Sussex lost, uh, Sussex continue to win, so it's about putting back-to-back -back wins together. You know, we, we've lost two in a row before that, um, we won three in a row, so we've got to make sure that we reverse it and get a couple of wins on a bounce.